Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kaylin Anderson and this is Poor Special Events. And today I am finally sharing with you how I pack our go boxes. <laughs> how I pack our go boxes, uh, what is in them, where we store the stuff, all of that good stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna share with you my corner of the garage of the man cave and all you might see some of the goofy things that are in here. Um, but this just works for us for right now. Eventually, um, we have other businesses that I've talked a little bit about and other spaces that this uh, mobile bartending may take on its own building with all of our stuff. So hopefully sooner than later, but we'll see. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, throw them down below. I love to answer them. All of your questions and comments um, kind of inspire me to make other videos. And then also, if you could please subscribe and share, um, like these videos, it's super helpful for me to know kind of which direction to take the channel in. So let's get started. I'm actually, um, today I've been working on a whole bunch of different things. I brought one of our trailers home out of storage from one of our other properties. Um, I brought our big enclosed keg trailer home. So that's here now that has a lot of supplies in it as well that we store over the winter. And then a lot of our smaller things, mostly our consumables, they live on these shelves. So what we did is we went ahead and bought industrial shelving from Home Depot. They're like the 10,000 pounds or whatever it is shelving. They were super easy to put together. They're heavy. Um, it took the two of us to do it, but they work great. We bought all of the different containers and you'll see like we have some of our, some family things here, but for the most part, this is um, where we keep everything. Now, go boxes. Let me just turn this around and I'll start to share with you kind of what we put in them and all those. So here is what a go box is going to look like. Um, we have wipes. We have bar caddies. We have jiggers. We have strainers. We have wine openers. We have a knife, straws, fresh gloves and uh, pours napkins these are fresh um, bottles for juices i have some extra cups and shot glasses bottle openers and then we're going to go ahead and come over to this container hopefully if i can get it away from these and we're going to pull, pull out some of our cups we use nine ounce and 12 ounce cups as i've mentioned before in a lot of my videos give me one second to pause this and pull this out so this is our cup bin, nine ounce and 12 ounce cups. Um, primarily 12 ounces, I love them. It's like bar science, I tell everyone about it. The 12 ounce is perfect because it's not too big of a cup where you're gonna have a ton of watered down warm drinks everywhere, but it's not too small of a cup that you're gonna have giant lines at your bar um, where people are just sucking them down because they think they're too small. A reminder, um, if you are providing cups, whatever your head count is, I say at least three times the amount of cups per the head count that you have to be safe. So there's that. In this next bin, we have some tip jars. We have some like plexiglass signs that we can put like bartending menus into. I have more of the juice containers. And then I also keep our clear um, garnish caddies in here, as well as some like shakers and things. This bin is kind of like a hodgepodge. So we have um, extra cutting boards, we have extra aprons, we have extra shakers, extra spoons. We have one of our cocktail smoker kits, um, any kind of just extra utensils or things that we may need, extra napkins are in here, all sorts of good stuff, um, just like dry goods that are clean in here. All right, and then in here we have some other random supplies. So we have first aid kits, we have in this box a wonderful, um, Pour beverage. Pour beverage sign that was made for us that holds our we have extra like rain ponchos we have cleaning supplies for our keg lines we have extra pieces that we don't really use that came with our garnish caddies just like extra plastic serving things um miniature fan for the trailer extra cups just all sorts of extra things these bins are just perfect to just kind of keep things in there that you may need but you're not using right at the moment and then on the bottom here we have those large black bins um, they carry a lot more and they're much heavier and they actually have wheels on the back and those have all of our portable um, coffee stuff so um, all of our cups our lids our um, stirring straws our condiments everything we need our hot tea bags all of that stuff that goes with our coffee setup 
Up here we have all the cups by the case. A thousand at a pop, we need them. On the wall, we have our custom cornhole boards, which are awesome. We had a local uh, friend who makes them do them up for us with our logo. Um, this way, when we bring the trailers and things out, we can set them up and our clients can play yard games, which is so fun. And then we do have a container here that's filled with random mixers. So like grenadines, blueberry syrup, orange syrup, um, simple syrup, uh, ginger beer, ginger ale, any kind of random mixers. Um, salts rimming rimming salts and sugars um things that we make up i just put them in this giant bin so i can get a hold of them when i need them always bring a first aid kit that's super important here's one of the giant coleman coolers that we use it's kind of piled in our enclosed trailer right now our keg trailer um, but we always bring one giant one of these we fill it full of bags of ice from the distributor um, we can ice down any drinks or use them for our mixed drinks and then everything else is kind of just prepping and getting ready. Whatever garnishes we need to bring, get them prepped and brought. Um, our small cooler for fresh ice, we bring that. If they do hydration station, we bring the two and a half gallon drink dispensers. Um, we have our wagon that we can put stuff in, put that in the back of the vehicle or in the trailer. And then always just remember your personal items. An extra outfit, something in case it rains, extra shoes, snacks, drinks, um, chargers, any like personal care items that you might need or that someone else could use that they'd really, really appreciate you having on you. This system is not perfect by any means. It's not fancy. Um, it was a bit expensive, but it works. They're solid. Everything is dry. Everything is clean. It's contained and it's organized. Um, I try and be very transparent with everybody that's watching about how we started, how I started with no money, how we kept pouring the money that I was making back into things that were really necessary how you can do this and build this business without needing a big fancy horse trailer and spending thousands and thousands of dollars for you even know if you're good at it or if you like it or if you want to be a long-term business owner or build a company um, so this is what works for us and this is what we use i'm curious to see what all of you use or what you may be using um, i will try and put links in the comments to some of these items that we have if you're looking to get them for yourself. The shelving we love, it went together easy, it comes apart easy, it's super strong and sturdy, it holds a ton. Um, the bins are great, everything's uniform, it matches. I have little pieces of tape on them so I can kind of write you know, what might be in them and I can quick pull them off and put something else on if I choose to swap things out. Um, but it works awesome for us and it just keeps you know our space, since it's a shared space for now, looking clean and tidy and organized and it, and it works. So let me know what you think. Uh, Give me any questions that you may have and I will answer them as quickly as I can. And I hope this helps a little bit while you are getting ready and packing. Um, I also like to say that I really like when the go boxes are in a clear container because you can easily see what you have or what you need or where it is. It's not like you're rummaging through a dark box like this trying to find stuff. Um, so that's kind of nice. And then um, some other things that I use um, that we've talked about in other videos that I mentioned like um, if you're doing something like a backyard or in a, a field or something, just always bring yourself a trash can. You can throw a couple trash bags in your bin. Um, just, just little things that would help to make your life easier and more efficient that you may not be able to rely on um, the host to have with them. And they'll think that that's a huge plus that they realize like, oh, she brought this. We didn't even think of that. And, you know, she didn't say she was going to bring that. She brought something extra. That was very nice that she had that together. Um, I ran into that last week with the event that I did. At the backyard they had tons of kids and because i have my mixers i always bring a few syrups in case um sometimes people will tell me like what their menu is going to be and then they change their mind and they're like oh yeah we bought like six other bottles of random stuff and if i had just had you know simple syrup or if i had just had whatever flavor syrup or you know some kind of a garnish i could have made x y and z i could have made a multitude of other cocktails so i started um bringing like a bottle of each thing with me so i bring a bottle of bitters bottle of grenadine. I had blueberry syrup that I brought last week. The kids loved it. I made them um, little Shirley Temples. And then the adults, they had uh, lemonade and vodka. And I said, well, I have blueberry syrup. I can make you blueberry vodka lemonade. And that went over crazy and they loved it. And they thought it was like the coolest thing ever that I brought that extra syrup. So if you are going to pack a few extras stowaways in your go boxes, um, have a couple versatile syrups um, and or maybe like garnishes like salt rims or sugar rims, something just to give it a little edge, a little pop, a little bit of color, flavor um, into all the possible options that your host could be providing for their drinks. And I'm sure it will go over really, really well for you.
Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Kaylin from Poor Special Events, and be sure to check out the rest of our videos as we are showing you how we set up our trailers and uh, how we get everything ready. Our styled shoot is coming up in just a few days, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to share the, uh, the progress with you all. Thanks. Have a great day.